<laughs> okay, this is the first brick made out of pond scum to see its flammability. See if it uh, catches fire a little faster than We're gonna give it a, a performance factor and see what else we can catch on fire. <laughs> Your hair. Because you do have some nice things around. <laughs> so how long has that been drying for? Slow, right? Oh, it's been drying for three weeks. Well. Right. If it burns slow, that's good because that would be equivalent to, say, uh, ponderosa wood instead of pine. Can I use your mitt for a second, Luke? It is smoldering, whether that's burning or it's fumigating. It's right here if it's too small. It is small. Here, too. Must have moved it about an inch. Okay, what would you call the flammability of that brick? On a scale of 1 to 10, call it a 1.2. Well, is flammability what you want, or is duration what you want? So, when everything else is all burnt up and that is still smoldering, then well, if that it, might be a good if thing. If it only smolders, then that's not a good thing. Is that your own Hershey? Oh, get my Aunt Hershey. I thought you had some. It wouldn't need a thingy. Okay, the flammability of the brick is pretty low. So, now I stuck on some pieces that were dried in thin slabs, and they appear to be much more flammable. There they are, catching fire. Those greenish looking pieces of pond scum. So if we dry it in Dad, sheets, blow it. It's and we've got it. some really good alternative energy, renewable alternative energy, <laughs> made from oh, pond scum. Here's some pond scum that I just poured out on the ground, and that's the stuff that burned really well. I just poured it in um, by the bucket full into sheets like that. You need to break it off and stick that right in the fire. It burns great.